Hello everyone, and welcome to Dynamics 365 Portals Tips from Engineered Code. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number one, using the Terms and Conditions feature. Originally introduced in version 8.4, which was released in February 2018, the Terms and Conditions feature was part of a group of features that were needed to ensure that a portal's implementation could be GDPR compliant. There are four content snippets and a couple site settings that you need to be aware of when using the Terms and Conditions feature, as well as a new attribute on the contact record. The content snippets associated with this feature are the agreement text that appears beside the checkbox, the text that appears on the button allowing the user to proceed, the Terms and Conditions themselves, and a heading that appears at the top of the page. There are default values for all of these except the Terms and Conditions themselves, that text needs to be added by an administrator. Note that the Terms and Conditions page will not appear unless there is content in this snippet. The site settings control whether the Terms and Conditions are enabled and their publication date. In order for the Terms and Conditions to appear on the portal, the enabled setting must be set to true. If your terms and conditions change from time to time, then you'll find the publication date feature useful. The portal keeps track of when a person accepts the terms and conditions via the new field on the contact record. If you need to change the terms and conditions and want the users to have to accept them again, simply update the publication date. Note that the value of this setting should be set in GMT format. If you want users to have to accept the terms and conditions each time they log in, Simply leave the publication date site setting blank. Now that the snippets and settings are configured, let's see how this looks on the portal. After signing in, I'm presented with the Terms and Conditions page. You'll see here the value of the four snippets, the heading, the copy, the agreement text, and the button text, and the fact that I'm forced to check the box and click the button before proceeding. Finally, we'll look at the portal contact form for the contact record, and you can see that the portal terms agreement date field in the personal information section has been updated. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Dynamics 365 portals tip number one from Engineered Code on the terms and conditions feature useful.